Today we're discussing a Nissan TSB in regards to properly inspecting a shock or strut for leaks. Next. This video is sponsored by Nissan, innovation that excites. Visit partsadvantage.nissanusa.com for more information. Nissan TSB NTB 9901D discusses the guidelines to properly inspect a shock or strut for leaks. And it applies to most Nissan vehicles and just about every single vehicle on the road. Just to preface this TSB, the thing to remember about a shock or strut is that it cycles millions and even billions of times as it goes down the road and during its life. When it does this, oil can get onto the shaft because the seal at the top is not a complete seal. Eventually this oil seeps out and it could find its way onto the sides of the shock or strut. The important thing to remember is the quantity and the appearance. According to this Nissan TSB, you need to be aware how far down the oil can go on the body of the shock or strut. It can't go more than halfway on the shock or strut. If the oil is below this, you need to do further inspection on the shock or strut. Next, you need to look at the appearance of the oil on the side of the shock or strut. If it has a very thick coating with pieces of dust and debris in it, well, chances are it needs to be replaced. If it's a very thin coat and it's a very almost tan color with just light pieces of dust in it, well, chances are it does not. This is normal seepage from a shock or strut. The next thing to pay attention to is how evenly the shock or strut goes up and down. It should be smooth. There should be no notchiness to it. And if it does, it's a sign that either the strut is damaged or the valving inside is damaged itself. But the most important thing about this TSB is inspection of the shocks and struts. Too often, they're not properly inspected, and it's not until the customer has an issue with the vehicle under handling or a panic stop that they know that the ride control is not properly operating. So when you do get a vehicle in your shop, make sure that you're inspecting the ride control components on it and looking at the oil leaks and if they fall into this criteria. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.